Time once again for Motor Week's Information Ace, Lisa Barrow, and all the latest motor news. This week's news concerns Saturn's changes to its 1995 models, which the company calls evolutionary rather than revolutionary. Styling changes are most noticeable on the coupes. The base SC1 receives a new lower front fascia shared with the SL2 sedan. Its open grille design has spaces for optional fog lamps. The top of the line SC2 coupe retains its unique hidden headlamps but gets a new, more aggressive lower fascia with a large oval shaped air intake. Out back, there's a new deck lid with a higher, full width spoiler and a wraparound light bar. Saturn's base engine, a 1.9 liter single overhead cam unit, receives multi port fuel injection that boosts its horsepower to an even 100, up from 85. Torque rises to 115 pound feet. The dual overhead cam 1.9 liter engine gets a few internal tweaks to reduce noise and vibration, but power remains at 124 horsepower. But perhaps the most noteworthy changes on all 95 Saturns are inside, where you'll find a softer, more rounded, user-friendly interior design. Gone are the annoying motorized seat belts, which are replaced by height-adjustable harness-type belts. More important is the addition of a front passenger airbag. There's now a real center stack that's separate from the dash, bringing stereo and climate controls even closer to the driver. Price increases for 95 Saturns are expected to rise about $170 per car. Also in the news this week, we get our first look at Mercedes-Benz's new small roadster planned for the 96 model year. Expected to be called the SLK, this mini Mercedes will be built on a shortened C-Class platform and should measure just over 13 feet long. The SLK will feature a two-piece retractable hardtop that will fold neatly out of sight behind the seats. But there won't be a soft top or an external roll bar to detract from the exterior styling. The price for this latest drop-top Mercedes is expected to be in the $35,000 range, putting it in almost direct competition with BMW's planned Roadster, which may be built here in the U.S. We'll have more information on both German Roadsters as it becomes available. And that's the Motor News for this week.